Treaty with the Six Nations, 1784. This is recorded to celebrate the sixth anniversary of LibriVox. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Articles concluded at Fort Stanwix on the 22nd day of October, 1784, between Oliver Walcott, Richard Butler, and Arthur Lee, Commissioners Plenipotentiary from the United States, and Congress assembled on the one part, and the sachems and warriors of the Six Nations on the other. The United States of America give peace to the Senecas, Mohawks, Onondagas, and Cayugas, and receive them into their protection upon the following conditions. Article 1. Six hostages shall be immediately delivered to the commissioners by the said nations, to remain in possession of the United States, till all the prisoners, white and black, which were taken by the said Senecas, Mohawks, Onondagas, and Cayugas, or by any of them in the late war, from among the people of the United States, shall be delivered up. Article 2. The Oneida and Tuscarora nations shall be secured in the possession of the lands on which they are settled. Article 3. A line shall be drawn, beginning at the mouth of a creek about four miles east of Niagara, called Oyanwaia, or Johnston's Landing Place, upon the lake named by the Indians Oswego, and by us Ontario. From thence southerly in a direction always four miles east of the carrying path between Lake Erie and Ontario, to the mouth of Tohosororon, or Buffalo Creek, on Lake Erie, thence south to the north boundary of the state of Pennsylvania, thence west to the end of the said north boundary, thence south along the west boundary of the said state to the river Ohio. The said line from the mouth of the Oyanwaia to the Ohio shall be the western boundary of the lands of the Six Nations, so that the Six Nations shall and do yield to the United States all claims to the country west of the said boundary. And then they shall be secured in the peaceful possession of the lands they inhabit east and north of the same, reserving only six miles square round the fort of Oswego to the United States for the support of the same. Article 4. The Commissioners of the United States, in consideration of the present circumstances of the Six Nations, and in execution of the humane and liberal views of the United States upon the signing of the above articles, will order goods to be delivered to the said Six Nations for their use and comfort. End of the Treaty with the Six Nations Read by Laurie Ann Walden